Hello Shady Grove, hope you are having a great week. Just wanted to remind you about a few things coming up here at the church in the next few weeks and this week. Uh, remind you that we're still in the middle of our missions month and if you have not yet turned in your uh, pledge card, your faith promise card, still plenty of time to do that. Be praying about that, what the Lord would have you to do as we support our overseas missionaries. Um, this is one of the main sources of funding that they have uh, for the entire year. So be in prayer about that, what God would have you to do, uh, giving towards that special offering and towards our missions uh, for this next coming year. Um, also coming up in, in just a few weeks, it uh, seems like it's getting here very quick, is our community outreach event, our Easter extravaganza. Uh, we need your help. This is kind of an all hands on deck uh, event where a chance where we get to love on our community and, and just uh, spend some time with them. Uh, there's a lot of things going to be going on. If you can help with that, you can uh, text the word outreach to our church text number 336-525-5870. Uh, we need help. With, um, we're gonna have popcorn machines, snow cone. We're gonna be having games. Uh, we need help setting up, tearing down. We'll need help with parking that day, uh, with the bounce houses, uh, setting up the Easter egg hunt. There's a lot of things we're gonna need help with. So if you can help in any way, uh, if you would text that word outreach to the number. Um, also a couple things coming up, uh, pizza with the pastors, uh, April the 3rd. Uh, we just want to spend some time with those of you who may be newer to the church family, uh, just to share a little bit of our heart, uh, about Shady Grove, answer any questions you may have. That will be on April the 3rd, immediately following the worship service. Uh, just plan to uh, stay after for that. And um, you know, we'll take care of everything. Would love to have you join that. You can text the word pizza uh, to that number as well. April the 10th will be our church elections. Uh, we'll do those immediately following uh, the church service that day, so just keep those things in mind. And then on April the 16th, the men are planning a golf tournament. Um, that will be at Oak Holla in High Point. Uh, you can check in at 12.15 that day. The first tee time is like 12.50. Uh, there will be more information coming in the e-news, and uh, you'll be getting some more about that. So if you are interested in that, have any questions, you can see Charlie. Charlie Tate. Uh, you can text the word golf to the church text number and um, register for that. But uh, it's just a time of fellowship, a time of uh, raising some funds for upcoming men's ministry events. So if you will plan to join us for that, we would appreciate that. A lot of things happening and we are excited about all that's going on at Shady Grove. Um, just a um, thing to think about this week as you're finishing up this week. Um, one of the things that um, I've had the privilege to participate in the last several weeks is we had a small group study on the book of Psalms that Pastor Denise led. And uh, it's been a, a great time as we've kind of worked through Psalms and, and some of the history of it and, and how it is put together and learn some unique things about it. But one of the things that stood out to me is one week we talked about the theme of the shepherd and how it flows not just through the Psalms, but the scripture. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all his sons, Moses, David, uh, they were all shepherds. The first person to hear about the birth of Christ was the shepherds. Uh, and so there is this theme that, that goes throughout. In Psalms, we are constantly called the sheep of his pasture, uh, the sheep of the Lord's pasture. And um, just reminding us that we are God's sheep, that he is our shepherd. Uh, the thing that uh, we learned about sheep, especially the breed that is over in Israel that they raise and take care of, is that they're not the easiest animals. Um, they are prone to wander off. Uh, if one wanders off, the whole herd's liable to follow. Even if one goes off the cliff, the whole herd's liable to follow off the cliff. They have no natural defense. Um, they are... Um, not fast, their color makes them stand out. Uh, they don't blend well with uh, to hide from predators. Uh, they um, have no claws, no teeth, there's nothing. They are completely dependent uh, on their shepherd. In fact, when they get in trouble, their natural reaction is basically just to lay down and whine and cry, which draws even more predators. And so um, 
when you think about how we are so much like sheep, um, you, you know, we tend to wander. Uh, we don't now always have the best defense against things that come our way. Uh, but God is our shepherd. Uh, we are dependent on Him to heal us, to deliver us, to defend us, protect us, lead us, guide us, rescue us, all those things. And in John 10, Jesus will say, I am the good shepherd. Um, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. And uh, it just knowing all of that just brings into a greater focus and a greater impact. Uh, probably the best known psalm of all, the 23rd Psalm, uh, where David, a shepherd, uh, watching his sheep, literally writes, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for Thou art with me. Thy rod and Thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I don't know what you're facing this week, church, uh, and sometimes it may be because you've wandered, sometimes it's because of attacks that come against us and we just have no defense against the things of life that happen, but we have a shepherd who leads us, guides us, heals us, rescues us, and I pray this week that you know the Lord is your shepherd, that you hear His voice and that you find peace and contentment in His presence. Have a great week, church, and be blessed. Thank you.